All right, everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at the MGRC Monster Trucks Cross Country Vehicle. This is that one I got a few weeks ago. Banggood had that flash sale. It was eleven dollars, and the box came like I mean, this thing is actually absolutely crushed. Absolutely crushed. But. The stuff wasn't damaged in there so that's a good thing right um, I don't actually even know who really even makes this thing it says it on here rubber tire hydraulic shock whole metal bearings 2.4 gigahertz 20 kilometers an hour yeah we'll see right we'll see let's uh open the box and uh, check it out well there you go that's it right there you got your transmitter and it takes only two AAA batteries it's got your steering here your accelerator there's your button to power it on and off here's the unit itself in the bot, the top comes off here. I took the pins out for you so you could see the innards. Here's the transfer case over here, the motor. And that's the driving force of it right there. Here's the shocks. They're independent. See, it's a dual axle. Doesn't have the single axle or anything. The back is probably a single. But the front, at least it has an independent suspension there. Here's the cover. It has a tire on here. I, I don't know if it's functional. The tire, you might be able to pop it off of there and actually use it if one of these ever got tore up. You got your little charger, the manual. And let's see, oh, the battery. The battery goes in the bottom. It's a... I think 4.8 volt, 700 milliamp hour uh, NICAD. And that goes in the bottom there. So to start it up, it has an on and off switch on it. Which you turn it right there. And the transmitter. Now, it, when it binds up to that, it'll stop flashing right there they say so all right there you go there's your quick look at it let's go out and check it out all right guys we made it out here with the MGRC truck buggy I don't know whatever the hell you want to call it it's here we made it okay I'll tell you what though man it's Saturday afternoon it got hot today as hell and supposed to be hotter tomorrow I'm like, holy cow. Holy tamole, it's hot. Well, let's just drive it around and see how it, how it rolls. We'll check out the battery life. I guess it ain't too bad. It's not one of them. It's not fast enough to do any of that spinning around, I don't think. Where you would have, um, you know, you could do any of them spin outs or anything like that. I don't think it's fast enough for that. I mean, it was $11, okay. I'll, I probably wouldn't have paid actually much more than that for it. There goes the range. So it's out of the range already. So the range on it is nowhere near what that red cat was. Not even close. The red cat went past the pole over there. You know, this thing here, the range is very short. So this is just for a kid to play out in the backyard or in the driveway. That's what this is. Just a little driveway toy. Well, the good thing is, it's not fast enough to tear up like I did the damn Red Cat. That thing was fast. I actually, 
didn't tear up the red cat, I tore up the damn camera. I just whacked that iced tea. So right there is gonna be about your range where you see right there. That's about it. And I don't know how far that is, but it's not very far. Let me uh, go over here and see if I can get it to spin out in this little bit of sand over here to see if it'll do anything in that. No, it's just not, it doesn't have enough torque to do that kind of stuff. Just not enough torque to do any kind of spins and sliding around or any of that kind of stuff. But it's okay for a child, you know. There, I just whacked the GoPro. No more whack-a-pro, <laughs> whack-a-mole, whack-a-pole. <laughs> like I told Donnie today, I left him a comment on his new, on his new uh, Bugs 2 uh, rebrand. I said, don't be whacking no poles with that thing like you did the other one. <laughs> he did a, Oh, last year sometime he had a he, bugs too he had gotten and he um, I think what he did was actually he hung a camera off of it or something but I think he actually covered up the GPS module and I think that's what he did and flew it somewhere and it crashed into a pole because I think it went you know it got stupid that's what happens when them things and you cover up the GPS module, they get dumb. Like my uh, Mavic Pro with that uh, Insta3, yeah, my, oh, I just had a, oop, come on back, come on back. Uh, either the battery's dead or I'm out of the range. I was out of the range. Yeah, when I put that Insta360 on there, that Mavic Pro acted a little stupid. You know, it wasn't acting completely normal wasn't picking up the amount of satellites that it normally would get because as soon as I took that thing off the satellites came right back hi Charlie Oh, it is. It's great fun. Look at Charlie looking at it. It's going to be so entertaining. <laughs> Look at Charlie. Ooh, come on, Charlie. Get a little oh, snuggle. Geez. Get a little snuggle, Charlie. Oh, what a baby he is. Oh, he's a precious one here. How's your weekend going? Oh, just nonstop fun. I'm just mad that it got hot again. Oh, yeah, I know. You know, I was anticipating the cooler weather. Right. And then tomorrow it's going to get up to 80 something. Yeah, fall's supposed to officially start, I want to say, in a couple of days. Yeah, well, I'm ready for it. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. I am sick. Oh, look at Charlie. Yeah. He said, I'll just Charlie, lay down here. Charlie's and... sick too. It's too hot for a dog. There's all the fur. <laughs> yeah. He says, I'm ready to snuggle here. Jeez. I would rather lay here and snuggle, he said. Hell with the yeah. chase of that car around. Oh, he's hot. He's like a hot dog right now. <laughs> he's a good baby. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> okay, well, you see the battery lasts long enough because I'm getting completely bored with driving this around. I need a little bit more excitement than this, okay? So, we're going to, uh, we're going to cut this short. From what I remember, these types of cars, because I have had a few of these, these batteries will last. These things will go for a long time. Because I remember that one I had that... I think it was the WL Toys one like this. I, that thing would, that thing went over 20 minutes. You know, on a, uh, a battery similar to that. You know. One of them NICAD, you know, 800, you know, milliamp hour jobs. So... It doesn't seem to be losing any speed at all, so that means the battery's still pretty good. Because you'll know these things when they start slowing down, they'll, uh, that'll be the end of it. Alright guys, I'm going to cut the video on the GoPro. And I'm going to cut out of this thing. Let me turn that off. Let me turn that off. Pick up my stuff. And now I am going to head over to the park and try to fly this Aosenma with the firefly hooked on it because I took it out yesterday with the GoPro and it just it was a big flop this thing and I don't mean a, a GoPro uh, Hero 7 Black either I'm talking about a GoPro Session 5 this thing would not pick up a Session 5 it picked it up but I mean it was like all over the damn place you know wobbling and shivering so it's really not that I'm gonna try with the firefly to see if it'll fly better this thing actually flies good it's just that it doesn't seem to be able to carry any weight so we're gonna look into that all right guys you have a nice day I'll talk to you later